Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and greetings from Phoenix, Arizona, where today we're at Castles and Coasters, like the largest amusement park in all of Arizona, one of the very few. Uh, so I we're don't know go... what that says. It doesn't say a whole lot, but we're going to check it out. Let's show you off the rides, the roller coasters, uh, mini golf, there's putt-putt here, yeah. and anything else there is to find. I go by the legend. That's my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. Let's check out Castles and Coasters. So the first thing you walk into is a giant arcade. Uh, multi, different multi-levels. Yeah, I like how they're like uh, castles. Kind of, yeah. And like different games on different levels. Like it looks like you got older games up top, like Simpsons and Tetris and Asteroids, Donkey Kong. And then a, a line of uh, pinball games up there as well. I like the, uh, the first Yeah, a very interesting design in here. In the arcade area, they do have a Triotech XD Dark Ride, uh, complete with a little animatronic figure. Very unique. You never see that, guys. No, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it is five dollars to ride this. I don't think this is included with your ride band. And they're currently showing uh, Carnival and Zombies. Carnival is probably my favorite uh, Triotech ride. Yeah. One thing to mention with the arcade, uh, they do have a ticket for like 12 bucks if you come on a weekday. I get, think you get to play all the video games you want for three hours for like 12 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal. So let's kick off the tour with the park's main attraction. This is Desert Storm, a looping roller coaster. A pretty loud looping roller coaster. And uh, I liked it. It's built by Wisdom, so there's not many of these in the country at all. You see like right um, before the drop, you see like downtown Phoenix right in front of you and you get the mountains all around. So the roller coaster does have some cool views. So interesting thing here at Castles and Coasters, no air gates on the roller coasters. No, also, not yeah. like that. Also, we just we just rode back row on Desert Storm. That was really intense. That is an intense roller coaster I didn't in the like back that. row. You didn't like, I loved it. I like the front row better. Cool, uh, cool art on the trains as well. So let's talk about Splashdown, which is the park's log flume. Um, actually a pretty decent log flume, like I would say better than you would expect the park to have. There is some theming elements, uh, you know, elephants that they're probably supposed to squirt over you, but they, they don't really... Uh, they land on you. They land on you, yeah. Uh, you got some, uh, like a pirate ship kind of thing here. And there's two drops. There you can see the littler drop. But uh, it's a, uh, a permanent log flume installation and it's a pretty nice. Like it's uh, better than I would expect this park to have. And uh, over there is the big drop. As you can see the log coming over now. And first splash. Uh, you get wetter than it looks and now I'm in trouble because Molly is soaked. I'm at least wearing my jacket, which I the almost did not bring. The camera's still working, so that's good. Uh, also, some weird art to get. Uh, there's like, it like says log flume, like a, a lion mauling a zebra. And then the tunnel is covered in gum. Like people take gum out of their mouth and stick it on the wall. Classy. Uh, and there you can see the log flume going into the tunnel. That is just balls of gum. Kind of shooting into the sun here, but you can't get a good angle of it. This is Patriot, the park's kids' roller coaster. Uh, my favorite part, as you're going up the left, you can see people amused by things on, uh, people going up the lip. See people amused by what's on the left. It's airbrushed characters on the roller coaster. Everything from uh, Winnie the Pooh to the Fantastic Four to just what look like ghost uh, poops. It's very strange. Uh, it's another wisdom roller coaster. It's actually much more intense than you think it would be. And, Similar 
to uh, like Barnstormer or Walt Disney World or the Hippogriff over at Islands of Adventure. So not bad, actually more intense than you'll think it will be. And going up the lift on the left hand side, those characters are something else. So Molly, you pointed this out. Yes. The height stick guy is one hilarious. Of my things. Kids shorter than the top of my hat must ride with a responsible person that meets the height requirement. Kids shorter than the top of my nose are too short to ride the Patriots. You measure by a nose. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, my kid was at the nose. <laughs> this is Skydiver, which is the park's drop tower. About 100 feet tall. And uh, the cool thing about this, you get a really cool view. Depending on which side you're at, you'll see downtown Phoenix, you'll see the mountains, and also these drop towers are terrifying because generally there's no warning at the top. You just don't know when you're dropping, and then you drop. I love the cartoons at the bottom. The cartoons are something else down here. With um, like the Wizard of Oz folks skydiving. Snoopy. Snoopy just falling to his doom. Uh, Peter Pan and Wendy. Uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I'm not even sure. Humpty Dumpty Humpty is Dumpty. falling, but being... Yeah, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Uh, and, and he's going to land on some horse. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bo Peep, not doing so hot. Her sheep, they'll be fine. Uh, you know, th this one you got me, I think. I was going to say, Jack has been stuck. Uh, yeah, I, donkey and donkey on a Donkey on a homemade plane? <laughs> Tarzan and then a uh, Pooh Bear. Very interesting. Yes. Over here at uh, Monsoon Cove is the park's bumper boats attraction. Uh, seems like they have a big bumper boats lagoon. And uh, just have some theming and stuff in there as well. That's a big bumper boat. You can see the park sea dragon going here. These rides are always fun. The park's carousel seems like a, a pretty good sized carousel for a park the size of castles and coasters. They've got go karts here. Uh, the go karts they run longer hours than the amusement park rides. They also seem pretty slow, and I believe they're not included with your wristband. Another upcharge attraction here at Castles and Coasters is the Fun House. Not any Fun House, Molly. This is the Stranger Stuff Fun House. It was kind of strange. Yes. Kind of uh, I do enjoy the facade with the, the Jack in the Box guy who is so smoking a cigar next to what looks like a TikTok frog. I wonder if he came from like an old Disney store? Maybe. The attraction is two bucks. For me, it's worth it. Uh, you got a couple different rooms. You've got a uh, like a room with like funhouse mirrors. You got a spinning vortex tunnel. Then things take kind of a dark turn, and uh, you get like this weird changing portrait, and then a uh, moving floors, moving floors, and then like a psychotic dentist animatronic who talks for a while. It's very odd. There's like kind of a fake laughing sound kind of thing. And then this terrifying uh, person with special needs at the end, who's very mean. I have no idea what that was. I think it was worth two bucks for me. So mini golf is a huge deal here at Castles and Coasters uh, because there are four different mini golf courses. Yes. And uh, different themes as well. So you got a Western course, a travel course, a fantasy, fantasy course. And a combined. And yeah. Uh, we're gonna play the travel courses. That's one of our favorite things to do. But uh, that's a lot of holes in mini golf. Uh, if you do get like the all-day ride pass, you can add on a game of mini golf for five dollars, and that's what we did. Also, welcoming you to the golf course is a uh, wild-looking pirate with a monkey on his shoulder, and this completely insane pirate parrot. He looks happy. Yeah. I'm gonna show off some of the cool stuff as we pass it on the mini golf course. You got a big pagoda here. Uh, hole three is quite the hole. A big candy house. Um, also, the western themed course. Quite the hole as well. So some pretty good theming here. Another shot of the mini golf area. Overall, it's a really nice mini golf yeah, course. Or four nice graveyard. mini golf courses. Yeah. 
vessel type fort. And then the uh, the inventor laboratory of Dr. Fred Finkelfurter, mad scientist, inventor extraordinaire. This hole here, very neat. Um, actually, all the holes are pretty pretty elaborate. A lot of times you have to try to put them up ramps and things like that. And this one's a uh, Taj Mahali Castle. Uh, what We're reaching the end of our mini golf adventure, but I love like that little New Orleans section. And then the final hole here is a castle with some, uh, kind of like a ski ball. Not running right now, based on the ongoing global health situation, is the park's ropes course. So they got a big RCI ropes course. And then with this building here, that is a zip line, or a, a series of two zip lines. Zip lining over the, the mini golf course could be pretty fun. The magic carpet is the name of the, the music express. here is the first interestingly named bumper cars. Uh, it doesn't look like anything too special. If you aren't quite ready for the big drop tower, they do have a smaller one, although it's not operating today. Not too many kids rides here at Castles and Coasters, but this little bumblebee kind of one, it's very different, very old it looking. It is uh, kind of cute. Kind of cute. And they got one over there for like little spaceships. I do love the little kids like old timey Ferris wheel. But the kids go in the cages and the, even like the, the mechanism, very old looking. I absolutely love this building here. Waffle! It's waffles and stuff. And there's a big spinning waffle on the top of it. Waffle! Here it comes. Waffles. And then they... And stuff. Forgot the end stuff. And stuff. And then they got like an animatronic woodpecker kind of guy continuing to destroy this building. Possibly the prettiest section of the park is there's a big uh, food court kind of area and a really, really nice uh, fountain. Although for a park with not a lot of room, it's kind of surprising that they have this area take up so much space. So if you're curious about the map of castles and coasters, pretty much the miniature golf is on the left side and all the rides are on the right side. So, Which is interesting. It looks like the mini golf is like half the size. Yeah. But I imagine for something this, you know, this popular, the mini golf probably makes a ton of money. Oh yeah. Uh, you got the big roller coaster there, the Desert Storm, the Patriots in the back. And there you go, that's the map. Do you have a taco booth? Unfortunately the taco, who's nicely wearing a hat, unfortunately not spinning at the moment. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, uh, what's a blue stuff spinning? Um, lettuce? That, yeah, that, that's probably some funky lettuce. But Molly, I don't think you have to worry too much about that, as it appears tacos and stuff just sells churros. And that'll do it for our time here at Castles and Coasters. Overall, I had fun. Um, the wristbands do cost about $35. You could add on a round of mini golf for five. Uh, we did find a, a coupon code online for about $8 off. So uh, I'm pretty comfortable paying $32 for what we got. For me, the, the highlight was definitely the roller coaster, the, the Desert Storm. It's unique, it was really intense, and uh, especially that back row ride, man, that thing must pull some G's in that back row. Yeah, that does. was that was pretty intense. Uh, I thought the park had a lot of, it had charm. It was a way better theme than I thought it would be. Yeah, and uh, like I love the entrance signs for the rides, I like the, the wait time, the height signs. The random spray paint of- Yeah, uh, spray painted characters. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the, the haunted house was weird. That was, that was bizarre. Uh, but overall, I did enjoy it. Um, if I was coming back to the Phoenix area, I don't know if I would have to come back here. But you know, uh, I, did, I did get two more roller coasters to ride, so up to 690 different roller coasters. Um, and that'll do it for our time here at Castles and Coasters. If you have any questions about the park, let me know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.